HRC coupling is a very much a versatile economic coupling and the components required are both hubs, one for each side of the coupling, the taper locks which suit those hubs to mount it onto the shaft, the hardware that goes with those taper locks being the grub screws and also the key. The element required for the coupling and also a set of Allen keys. Last thing that's required is a vernier. Vernier is used to measure the actual shaft gap of the coupling. The first part of the procedure is to install the tape lock into the hub. You can refer to our taper lock installation and removal video for this. We simply install that, do the grub screws up, only finger tight at this stage. And one hub. You'll notice that the taper lock actually enters the hub from the outside on this particular hub. On the other hub, the taper lock actually enters from the inside. These are both types of fittings which are available, both hub and flange. Next we will install both of these hubs onto the shaft. Now that we have secured, secured uh, one hub tightly down by doing up the taper lock, getting that in place, the second hub is on there relatively loosely. The next step is to insert the, the element into the coupling, ensuring that the, the element matches up the dogs on both sides and slipping that into place. The next part is to slide the hub into the loose hub into position, matching up the dogs all the way around and pushing them both together. Before securing this side of the coupling, it is important to set the actual correct coupling gap. On this particular coupling, the gap is specified at 45 millimetres, which we measure between these two flanges here. And we can see that is set at 45 millimetres and ready to go. All need to be done now is to tighten down these grub screws here, check the alignment of the coupling, and you're ready to go.